everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Alina. I am a part-time Poshmark reseller and a reselling content creator. And I wanted to do a little bit of work today on my uh, Poshmark closet, but uh, the doorbell rang and I got some surprise. So I got two boxes from ThreadUp and I will do uh, two boxes unboxing today. One is a fun box, which I uh, could get my hands on for the first time um, in the ThreadUp app. And the second one, it's going to be five brand name bags, I believe, and one accessories, but we're gonna see. Um, I have both of them right here. I don't know which one is which, so I'm just gonna start with the first one and let's go dive into it. I'm so excited. So they are sealed, both of them. I did not open it. They are pretty light. Uh, this first one, let's see. So this first one, it is box it's the fun box it's the fun box so this is a lip oh wow air bubbles i love these okay so this is what it looks like very nicely uh, folded um i have a pajama top by Wonder Shop at Target. It is a size large. It uh, looks like it's in never worn condition. I don't see any tags, uh, but it's a flannel um, cotton top, which actually I need. So I don't think I would be selling this one. Um, the next one is something lacy and sexy. Let's see what this would be. Ooh, ooh, this is really fun. Vivi Lover Treasure House. It is, oh my God, it's a kimono. It is a kimono, this is so cute. All right, I love this. It is a maxi kimono made out of lace, really new with tags, really good condition and black and i will put this up on um in my poshmark closet what size is it by the way well okay this does not have a size i guess it's one size fits all it looks like a large to me but um we'll see i will measure this and post the measurements uh, and pictures with the measurements so everybody can see it who's interested and then we have a uh, bralette Oh, it's from Atleta. It is from Atleta, it's new with tag. I think somebody tried it on because it, I see some marks over here, like a, uh, but it's a size extra large. So I love uh, selling larger sizes. They sell faster. They tend to sell faster than um, small and extra small. So um, it is a beautiful um, dark blue color. And then we have a Nordstrom Rack, brand new with tags, um, set of three underwear panties, uh, which are size small, um, very stretchy, very good condition. I mean, brand new with tags, um, essential colors, red, navy, and beige. Of course, the socks that everybody gets. Um, it's called Gold Toe and it retails for $18 as I see. It's a heritage collection, Upton Crew Gold Toe um, socks. Shoe size six to 12 and a half, so they're very stretchy. They look um, like good quality and like the winter is coming and these would be great um, stocking stuffers. Then we have a pair of stocking socks um, from looks girl made in the usa usa trouser socks uh, from tj maxx they retail for 4.99 they are uh, stretchy and a little lacy 
Then I have a Sonia Kashuk uh, micro needle roller. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. It is in the box. The box is a little smashed, but nothing too serious. There you go. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what this is. Oh. <laughs> this is this is for um, the ponytail. This is for the ponytail. It opens and it closes like this. And it's real fur. Um, I don't know what kind of fur. I think it's fox or something, coyote. Uh, but it looks fun. It looks fun. You can wear it as a bracelet, as a cuff, probably. And um, I don't know. It, it is. It is fun. Then we have um, a coach wallet. No money in it, unfortunately. <laughs> what was I expecting? <laughs> so um, here you go. It says coach on the inside. It does not have the creed like the bags, but I guess because it's a wallet. Um, it is a muted gold. It has some uh, signs of wear on the exterior, but nothing too bad. I will post this in my closet. Um, I guess I could get like $25 for it. It's in very good condition. It looks like it's leather, slightly muted gold. It has a bit of a shine to it. There you go. Um, it is in good condition, clean, clean on the inside. Ah. Not so clean in the coin compartment. Again, twenty twenty five dollars. I guess I will get for this one. And the last piece, it is a crossbody bag. <laughs> Sorry, it is a crossbody bag. I don't see a name. It says made in China. It is in very good condition, very clean, fall leather, and uh, the pockets are in good condition, the zippers are working, it is a very nice uh, green color, oh, it has a lot of pockets, so it has two pockets on this side, two pockets on this side, they're functional, um, one zipper pocket inside, uh, brown lining, cotton lining i mean I, I don't think it's cotton it's brown polyester lining it feels like cotton a little bit um but it has one slide pocket and one zippered pocket this is a great little bag um zipper up top the strap is removable and um, it can be also adjusted so this really was a fun box. I really love it. And um, I will post most of it in uh, my closet if you're interested. And let's get to the second box. The second thread up box, it's supposed to be a name brand box. It has five bags and one accessories. And also it is sealed. As you see, I did not open it. It feels heavy. And uh, let's see what is inside. I am very, very excited. So these boxes I got for the first time because they're very hard to get. And um, I wanted um, the designer name, but I cannot get that for some reason. And I cannot just stay there and re refresh the site to no end because I have stuff to do. <laughs> but anyways, ooh, ooh. <laughs> This is even more fun than the fun box. Uh, all right, so um, this is what I see at the first glance. And this is a Michael Kors uh, clutch a wristlet, Safiano leather and gray. It has a silver tone um, studs, <laughs> metal studs. It looks like it's in new condition. I don't see, oh no, it's not new. Um, there is a little bit of signs of wear along the zipper on the interior, 
but other than that it's in excellent condition and pretty clean i might add this is the lining it's a signature lining it's beautiful it has a little bit of weight to it um and it makes a great bracelet it fits a big phone like a, a big iphone inside and wallet and whatever you um have essential um things when you go out then we have a taupe Kate Spade bag. It is so cute. Look at this. It is quilted. Uh, I know mini bags are really in right now and um, I'm really happy about this one. It looks in great condition. Um, there's nothing on the exterior that I see. The hardware is gold tone metal. This is removable the strap and also uh, it can be adjusted to any size um, you have your Kate Spade logo here at the front and um, zipper closure the interior is very clean it has again along the zippers it has um, a little bit of schmutz which i can remove with the wet wipe so it's not a problem the interior is um kind of a mauve um signature lining with dots it has one zipper pocket and one sliding pocket the bottom is very good looking and um it just needs to be wiped down a little bit but this is great I love this. Look at it. <laughs> then another Kate Spade tote this time. It's a beige. Um, it needs to be reshaped a little bit because it's been smooshed in the box. But oh my God, this is in good condition. This is in good condition. The, the interior is... Um, um, it's a signature interior lining. It has a little bit of staining, which again, I can wipe down with um, some wet wipes. Um, you have your handles. They're in excellent condition. Oh, a little booboo over here um, where it was folded nothing too serious um the bottom is in excellent condition it has a little bit of uh, scratching but i think this can be fixed it's not a real scratching it's just like a hmm, something <laughs> something that can be fixed yeah it needs a little bit of um, cleaning but this is in excellent condition it has um a zipper pocket inside and a sliding pocket and um, it's a hard shell very beautiful color it's more like a spring summer color but um, as we know in reselling there is no really uh, no season <laughs> so cute Rebecca Minkov, this is a mint green. I never got colored bags, so I'm really happy about this one. This is a mint green Rebecca Minkov mini bag and Safiano leather again. I love Safiano leather. The color doesn't really translate and uh, I, as I see on the screen, but um, yeah, this is the interior. I don't know if you guys can see, it's really clean and it only has a slide pocket for your phone, I guess. And it does need a little bit of um, cleaning, but there's nothing that affects the functionality of the bag. Everything is in good condition. You have your tassels. Sometimes the tassels are missing when people get, you know, the bags from Rebecca Minkoff, but this one I see it's in good condition. You have a small pocket here. I don't know what it's for because you cannot really fit a phone in there. 
I don't know, maybe keys. <laughs> but this is so cute. I love it. Look at this. Okay, next one is a big one. Um, and this, oh my goodness. Okay, this is a heavy one. This is the last one and it's a Michael Kors um, tote purse. Signature lining and beige or maybe cream. I don't know. This color is a little deceiving. Uh, good condition on the interior. A little needs a little bit of wiping uh, with a damp cloth or something. Um, it has a ton of space. It has a zippered um, middle compartment, zipper pocket over here with sliding pockets and uh, it closes with uh, a snap magnetic closure on the interior like this, sorry, like this and um, it has accent, gotta reshape it, <laughs> sorry. Oops, come on. Okay, it has accent handles, um, which are in excellent condition. Oh, yeah, a little bit of rubbing over here, as you see, but nothing serious. This is not really visible. And um, the strap is here, which I love because a lot of times the strap is missing and it's not removable maybe that's why it's still there but if you don't want to use the strap you can uh, simply hide it in the purse like this so this is a hand purse mostly but you can also use um, the shoulder strap so um, it is also hard shell it is a pebbled leather it has the signature michael kors and um, the bottom is in excellent condition. It's just a little bit of scratching on. Hmm, on the metal knobs. Uh, but this is in excellent condition, guys. And it's a little scratched on the metal hardware. But this is an excellent condition. I am very happy about both boxes. I had a lot of fun actually um, unboxing it. So, and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for sticking with me through the whole video. And I hope to see you next time. If you enjoy the content of my videos, uh, do please sign up if you're not signed up already and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.